Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm in a minefield. Come stick around. <laughs> Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Raising money, making friends, seeing the country is a Lone Star Rider. I'm here in Brownsville, Tennessee um, at Billy Tripp's minefield. He's been working on this thing since 1989, and it is huge. Uh, they say it's uh, in the top 10 biggest artwork, if you want to call it art. Some people would call it junk, but I think it's pretty darn cool. <laughs> Billy Tripps also wrote a book. I haven't read it. Get Stick Customs is the one that told me I should stop here, and I'm glad he did. You just have to stand here and look at this place and look at all the other little things like a metal hand and a, there's a canoe up there. <laughs> uh, there's two watchtowers. Today's overcast, so it, I don't think it gives it a best uh, picture of views, but uh, let's, let's take a look at it and I'll come back to you before I leave. All right, I stepped across the parking lot to give you a perspective of how big this thing is. It's pretty darn huge. You see the canoe right there? <laughs> and he's got words written all over the place too. I have to read some of those. My chosen destiny. Let's take a closer look. Well, Billy Tripp, I was reading, says he wants to be buried here. and has got it approved. Also, he has uh, made arrangements to make sure this place is gonna be around for a whole lot of generations. First thing this reminded me of when I first saw it coming up to it, that it was some kind of electrical uh, station. I don't know why I would think that. <laughs> it's got all these little things like way over there. I don't know if you can see it. A little stick man figure. I don't know what that is. It has a bunch of wind chimes over there also. Come over here and take a look at this. that water tower too that he bought it and had it brought here I don't remember where you see this uh looks like a drill it goes all the way up he's got several of those all over the place some of them don't go down to the ground though let's go around here to the front or whatever they call the front. Might be 1989-20 something. Yeah, he's still working on this today too. The minefield is a work in progress and is the largest outdoor sculpture in Tennessee with heights of more than 125 feet. Billy Tripp has lived in Brownsville since 1963 and began building the minefield in 1989. And the minefield continues to grow and evolve.
that says. Take uh, this of us with thee. Billy, Mom, it's got names up there. And dates. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this place. Uh, if you're ever in the area, stop by and take a look at uh, Billy Tripp's minefield. It's pretty darn cool. I um, I dig this place. <laughs> if y'all are not subscribed to me, you should be. Click on that subscribe button down below, and then hammer the hell out of that bell, and you'll get email notifications that I've uploaded a video. And if you would like to become an insider and a supporter of Lone Star Rider, click on that button right there. And check out my Patreon site. You'll be glad you did. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. It's supposed to storm tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Get stick. Get stick. Get. Um, 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 um. Uh, let's take a look at it, and I'll come back. With Lone Star. Ride.